It's coming up, runners going through the dais and we'll be at the boxes shortly. Nathan, what's been a, a good nine? However, this last race, tricky to say the least, underline and bold. Yeah, very tricky. A lot of speed, uh, not many strong 500 metre dogs here to close out proceedings, burn along. Most probably brings the best form line, Jace, of, of most probably recent times. He was Warrigal Cup finalist, Taraugan Cup finalist, so he certainly... Uh, brings the best CV, I would say, to the race. He's won well, 11. What's the query, though? Well, 500's a query, mate. And uh, I don't think 500's a massive query if you could get a cheap lead. But as you go through the field, you know, number three, Bandit Bullet's been racing over 390 at Shepparton and 400 at Geelong and been up on speed on those occasions. Uh, you get dogs like Interstate Girl that's uh, been leading at Geelong over the 460. You get Irish Lucy, who's got a bit of speed and comes out of a strong uh, Vic Bread Grade 5 heat and final series here at the Meadows the last couple of weeks. So it's a very even race. And um, for Burnalong to win, he'd need to utilise box one and be able to hold them initial speed runners drawn initially to his outside and then pinch a bit of a gap mid-race and most probably be too strong in the run to the line. $1.95 is short enough for me. I think he's somewhat unders, but I have settled with him on top just because he is the most probably best provincial cup dog here. Uh, none of these would be racing in a Tarragon or Warrigal Cup, um, in my personal opinion. I thought uh, number six, Fast Headache, had a chance for trainer Matt Lanigan, comes back from a few runs through the Gaula Produce in South Australia in a Grade 5 uh, heat and final at Angle Park. So why draw no disadvantage for that greyhound? And it's one that's going to be strong at the back end of this race. Just a bit of a question mark at where it lobs on the map. Drawn box six here. Box seven, Irish Lucy, as we touched on. It's placed in a grade five heat here two weeks ago in 30 and 30 from this wide draw. That could be well and truly good enough for a race of this quality. And number two, Aston Allure in for four for me. Produced 30 and 22 in winning at uh, Sandown and 30 and 30 in winning at the Meadows four runs ago. So got some pretty decent form, but burn along on top for me in the last race here at the Broad Meadow Circuit. Thank you to Nathan Rooney for all his selections and analysts throughout the night. And thank you to Dan Hibbert, who was the voice here at the Meadows on what's been a, a big night. Group one maturity, one by follow the band. Here's Dan for the last. Turned on and set to run. Ready for the last. Favourite the red. Racing, Burn Long only fair to go, hustles hard, there's speed out, Irish Lucy's going to get over, Irish Lucy led across from Burn Long and Bandit Bullet, behind them next was Fast Headache, on the outside goes Genesis Bale, well back then to Applicant, well off the speed interstate girl and Aston Allure at the rear, Irish Lucy is the leader, goes well, three clear, Burn Long's not reeling it in, neither is Bandit Bullet and then came Genesis Bale but it's Lucy, Irish Lucy's going to win the last by four and a half burn along and banded bullet third fourth across the line was a close thing we had uh, fast headache diving at genesis bale and there was nothing in that on the line aston allura made up a fair bit of ground next in the field was applicant and it was one of the last home and the time of the last is 30.158 30 and 16 will be the rounded time and nath irish lucy straight to the top was pretty keen to get to the fence but once she got there, particularly with Burn along on her tail, it's going to be hard to run down. Yeah, exactly. Come out of a really good uh, quick bread, grade five heat and final series here of recent times. Didn't have a great deal of luck off a near rails draw behind Funny Old Fellow last week in the final, but did produce 30 and 30, being placed in the heat from box seven. Uh, won the speed battle early. We talked about a... a, a a lot of speed and not many strong dogs in this race, so it was able to get across and from there. There was no greyhound that was going to run her down. Burn along was honest in defeat. 5.05, he just couldn't quite hold up off the red in the run to the corner, and Bandit Bullock <laughs> stepping up from those 400 metre runs up to 5.25 at the Meadows, boxed on well into third, but full credit to the winner, Irish Lucy, for trainer Jason Sharp. Damn Johnny Nichols letting off the, uh, the valve for the compressor of the boxes here, but uh, lucky he's a good bloke. Aren't you, Johnny? Great job, as always, from Johnny Nichols. And what's been a really good night, it's cold, so keen to get in the warmth. Cat, two feature race winners, Ella's Babe and Follow the Band, both very, very good. They were no fluke. Absolutely, and Ella's Babe. Um, I will admit that she's one that I've probably overlooked a little bit. She's young and coming through, and I just didn't know how she was going to adapt to stepping up to the big stage. It's so easy to do it in fourth and fifth grade company. Um, and I really take my hat off to Brooke and Jamie Annis for what they've done with her because um, that was a really 
tough performance tonight. I know it was robbed of Palawa King being out of the race, probably a little bit of depth there. But um, for her to do what she did um, coming off the speed, it was a very, very good win. And follow the band, he's definitely one to earmark for the future. He's a nice young dog coming through. And whether they decide to go for the Nationals with him, um, I don't know whether it's coming up a little bit too soon for him, but he, um, he was absolutely outstanding as well. He'll be there, I reckon, for sure. Nathan in the hub. That free-for-all was spoken about all week. How good of a race it was going to be. Don't think anyone thought in the hub was coming from midfield. No, nah, time wasn't on the board that we expect to see when in the hub has a win next to his name, but uh, the way he did it was able to nearly hold a spot up near the fence, bullock his way through, pill middle of the track where he likes to be down the back and then pick up the leaders. That was most probably a defining uh, win in his career. I think it might uh, give him the utmost confidence to hold a near rails draw when he gets it in the near future and, 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 and cop a bump and hold his spot going forward. I think he was uh, certainly one of the highlights of a, a very good card of racing. That it was. It's... If he's to maintain that, then he is going to go to a new level, which would be special to see. And for a lot of these good dogs, we're going to see them at Sandown in a couple of weeks' time in heats of the national distance and also the national sprint, which, of course, is a really big period of time for greyhound racing all around the country. That's a wrap here from the Meadows. Follow the band. Awesome, the maturity. Alice Babe, terrific in the fireball. Uh, it's been a great night. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.